Hey everybody, welcome to the Flatirons Tuning Question of the Week. Uh, our question this week comes from me, actually, and I'm asking, when should I smoke test my car? Great question. Uh, you had a problem that led you to ask us if you should smoke test your car, which was, all of a sudden, you're not making your target boost. Um, that is a very common issue where, you know, checking for vacuum leaks is a great place to start uh, because, you know, something comes loose, uh, hose clamp, whatever, you know, that could cause that kind of symptom. But uh, a couple other common uh, symptoms where you might want to smoke test your car would be if you have uh, bad idle, issues at idle, stumbling idle, um, that could be caused by vacuum leak or like a, a lean running condition or sometimes a rich condition, that could be caused by a vacuum leak as well. So if you have any kind of those symptoms, you know, starting off with a, a smoke test to find any vacuum leaks is, is always a good place to start. So how hard are these to get? They used to be pretty expensive, but that has all changed. Um, we used to always borrow the one from the shop up the street because they were close to a thousand dollars for a decent one. And now they're just, they're down to a couple hundred bucks. So if you get on the internet and you just search for a di diagnostic smoke machine or a smoke leak detector, you're probably going to find a couple options that are just a couple hundred dollars. This is a really handy diagnostic tool to have, um, you know, have access to um, just because it's something where it's never a bad idea to just kind of check out the intake system, make sure that everything is, is sealed up properly. Because mm -hmm. yeah, things can happen. Yeah, as we found. As you found. Yeah, what, what did we find today? Uh, just a few leaks. Just a few leaks. Just a few. <laughs> yes, which, which happens. I mean, it, it, as these cars are driven, uh, especially the more plumbing that you have, like with the front mount with a lot of piping, a lot of couplers, hose clamps can come loose, um, silicone hoses come loose, stuff like that. Um, vacuum leaks can crop up for all sorts of reasons, and um, they don't all cause major running issues. But um, you know, especially if you're tracking your car uh, or, or getting your car tuned, for instance, you know, being able to run a smoke test on the car, make sure everything is sealed up tight, is is just a really good way to make sure that the car is going to be running properly. So, if I've never used a smoke test machine before, how do they work? So, they're actually really simple machines. You, you basically have a little air compressor that's going to be able to send air into the into the car under a few psi of pressure, and then something to basically burn an oil to create the smoke. The best way to think about this is you want to basically remove your air filter and then replace the air filter with the smoke machine. Um, that's why they often have little cone attachments like this. You basically just take your uh, some part of the early part of the intake system off, plug it up with that, with that cone, and then send the smoke in through that path. Ideally, you want to test as much of the intake path as possible to catch you know, every possible location for a vacuum leak that you can uh, when you're doing this kind of test. So why is that important for a, for a Subaru? All, all the modern Subarus that we've had over here are mass airflow based cars. So they have a mass airflow sensor right at the beginning of the intake path. Uh, like on, on the Subarus, it's pretty much, it's in the airbox right, or right at the end of the airbox, right behind the filter. That is the sensor that the computer is using to look at how much air is coming into the engine to calculate fueling and such. Everything past that, if you have any kind of vacuum leaks, that air is going to come in under vacuum unmetered and that's where you have more air than the computer thinks, and that's what can lead to a lead running condition and, and these drivability issues we've been talking about. You know, which is what I ran into. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so that's, that's why on the, on the Subarus, especially with a mass circle based tune, it, it's really important to make sure you don't have any vacuum leaks. Well, cool. thank you. And thank you for checking us out. Um, we do a question of the week every week, yeah, so be sure to send in your questions, and hopefully we'll answer them here. Yeah, put them in the comments, and uh, stay tuned until next time.